Have you ever seen a film by James Cameron? I bet you probably have. He's made Titanic, Terminator, and Avatar, just to name a few. But I would like to teach you what you don't know about those films and the man who made them, James Cameron. He got a start like most of us at college. But in 1977, everything changed when he saw Star Wars. This prompted him to make his first film, a 12-minute short called Xenogenesis. This film got him his first job in the film industry at New World Pictures. This information I got from an article at Blockbuster.com called How Star Wars Made James Cameron, which was published in 2020. When Cameron saw Star Wars, he was working as a truck driver, putting himself through school. Initially a physics major, he changed his major to English. But he didn't need college after his job at New World Pictures because soon after he began working there, he got hired on his first acting gig on Piranha 2 The Spawning. It was a huge flop, but he went on to create one of the biggest films of the decade, The Terminator. That film set the stage for the rest of Cameron's careers and opened countless doors for him. Terminator had a budget of only 6.5 million, and at the time of its release, it grossed 38 million, quite a lot for 1984. And these numbers I got from boxofficemojo.com. Cameron went on to create the world's largest underwater set for the abyss in 1989, which held a total of 7.5 million gallons. The film's production was a mess, leaving many of the actors traumatized for life as Cameron pushed everyone around him to their limits and himself. Though the film's advancement in CGI technology were very notable as they won the film an Academy Award for special effects. This information I got from IMDb Trivia on the Abyss. All of the sources that I'm citing in this video will be linked in the description below. In 1990, after the lukewarm reception of the abyss, which was a bit of a disappointment for Cameron and everyone else, Cameron decided to start his own production company because he felt that the studios were underestimating him and not giving him enough free reign. The studio was called Lightstorm Entertainment, and the first movie he produced on it was Terminator 2 Judgment Day which at the time of its release was the most expensive movie ever made. When Terminator 2 Judgment Day was a huge success critically and financially, it won four Academy Awards, all for technical achievements. The CGI in Terminator 2 advanced the technology even further than the Abyss did two years prior. So Cameron went on to found his own special effects company called Digital Domain. And the first film that he made under Digital Domain was his 1994 film True Lies, which broke the Terminator's record for the most expensive movie of all time. And all of this information I found on pages 25 through 29 of Paula Parisi's 1998 book, Titanic and the Making of James Cameron. Titanic was the film that came after, and it was a very big deal because James Cameron had been cooking up this idea for decades not decades, a decade. It all started in 1985 when Robert Ballard discovered the wreckage of the Titanic and James Cameron fell in love. He since became good friends with Robert Ballard and wrote 
several drafts of the script for Titanic, which ended up becoming the most expensive, the highest grossing, and the most Academy Award winning film ever made at its time of release. There was a large gap between the release of, of Titanic and Cameron's next effort, Avatar, which was a film like Titanic a long time in the making, with drafts of the script being made as early as before Titanic's release. Cameron waited for the technology to be available for him to make Avatar, and when it did, it was the first film to be shot entirely on 3D cameras, and the first film ever shot 100% digitally to win an Academy Award for Cinematography. If you I got the information on both Titanic and Avatar from their IMDb trivia sections. You can learn anything from James Cameron Cameron's career. It's really that you have to push the medium forward no matter what you do. In the countless achievements in Cameron's career, he never decided he was done. He constantly one-upped himself. I hope now you know more about James Cameron and his career than you ever thought you did. His start at a Cal State college as a truck driver should serve as inspiration to us all. As he was not passive in what he wanted to do, he simply went out and did it and became the best at it. I hope you enjoy.